Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner, y'all, and this is a brand new, recently released role-playing map by Dubs, and it's called Jensen Trails. Now, the map itself is console-friendly, but it is not yet approved by the developers, although when it is, I will update that in the comment section down below with a pinned comment. And the vehicle I am driving right now, this Dodge Power Wagon, is a mod by Frog, and I'll leave a link to Frog's uh, Patreon and Discord in the description box down below. Also, if my mic sounds a little bit off. For whatever reason, my mic has been acting up lately, but I've been taking some steps to fix it, and hopefully it should be good to go soon. But without any further ado, let's, uh, let's go ahead and check our, let's check our engine real quick, because, uh, we need to look inside and make sure there's nothing going on. Seems fine. I love how this truck actually has the ability to lift the hood up, like, on both sides. Get a good look at that, uh, at that Cummins turbo diesel under the hood, and you can see all of the different elements that have gone into this build, from, like, the detail on the turbo to the intercooler piping to, like, literally everything that went into making this engine look the way it does, it looks absolutely insane. So now, we're gonna leave our farmhouse, and we're gonna head on out and see if we can snag a mission, and then make our way on out from there. What do you say to that, Beans? Does that sound good? I'm pretty sure Beans is, uh, in agreement with that. It's so wild driving trucks from this era in SnowRunner because looking out of this old school cab and looking out of like, you know, all the old school body lines, the old school windows and stuff like that really does kind of put you into a different mindset when you play the game. It's almost like it, it, it's weird in like a relaxing way, you know? Now we do have a initial starter mission right here and let's see what they want for that. Now this says, welcome runners, Carl Dean is a local that runs a small camp of the wait of the upper Tullus River visit him to get some work uh, or to find some work oh my god I can't read today to find some work to get you going all right so details and oh you literally just have to head on over there all right let's go so I'm curious do we take that road or we go or do we go a little bit further down the main road and take that because I'm genuinely not sure probably take this I would imagine now it's been a while since I've been on this map and the last time I was on it it was very much in a development stage so I haven't been on it since dubs made all of these changes for the release version so I really don't know what I'm getting myself into here I love watching the suspension on this truck do its work I mean look at those king coilovers just absolutely doing their thing they look so good Got the custom signs right here, off-road vehicle use only. I mean, I would say we're prepared for that. I mean, I want to say these are like somewhere around a 37-inch tire that we have on this thing. They're like 37-ish uh, Milestar Patagonias. They look really good on this truck, by the way. They look amazing. They might be bigger than 37s. I'm not entirely sure. Now, let's see if we can ooh, get a little bit of an idea of where we are. Got a couple of different trails right here. Got a watchtower right there that we will definitely go grab. I absolutely love the look of these custom rocks. Because what's really cool about all of the, like, the rocks and the objects on this map is that they've been done in such a way to not only feel realistic, but look and play realistically as well. I mean, these trails are literally designed to feel like trails you could run across in real life. Now, let's see. Willis Truck Recovery was unlocked. Let's see what else we can see out here. So we get a little bit of a view of the swamp down there. Let's see if we can get... Oh, wow, okay. So we've got another watch tower down there that we can grab we unlocked a whole bunch of stuff down here towards town and there's the willis recovery so what we'll do is we'll head back down there soon but what we really have to do is we have to get up to carl's place so let's get turned around all right now that we're turned around let's go ahead and get back onto the main trail now my concern with whoa easy my only concern that I have running this truck on this map is that we might find an area or two where... What does that sign say? It says... Oh, main service trail. Okay. My only concern with running this truck is maybe getting it high-centered, but I don't know if there are trails on this map that are gnarly enough to get this thing high-centered. We'll have to wait and see. I'm genuinely... I'm genuinely kind of back and forth about... Uh-oh. Oh! oh. Oh, that got a little bit gnarlier than I thought it would. Okay. Well, that slowed our progress a little bit. It's not bad. It's just like, 
you got to make sure you prepare your vehicle for this stuff because like even the main service road which this is which is kind of like the loop road the service trail you're gonna run into some gnarly mud you might not run into any rocks on the main service trail but mud you'll definitely be dealing with all right so we got an off-road use only on the right i mean technically this whole thing should be labeled off-road use only because look how deep the dang mud is good grief all right now, we can take the off-road use-only trail on the left, or we can go to the right. Honestly, probably going to take the off-road use-only trail. You know why? Because this seems like it's going to be a much more direct route to Carl's. And if getting to Carl's place is our, you know, our overall goal, this is the way we should probably be headed. Whatever way is going to get us to Carl's quicker. Oh, easy. Got a little bit more steam going over those than I uh, initially intended to. Uh-oh. We messed up our dodge emblem. Or rather, like, just the emblem on the tailgate. It's just an odge now. All right. Beans it across the water. Come on. Oh, almost. Make your way out. Make your way out. There you... Whoa, easy. 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 Okay. So now... Let's see, we want to stay to the left? Okay, I'm just making sure that not only we stay to the left, but that we also keep an eye on our actual finishing target, because if we go the wrong way, we could end up miles away from Carl, and being miles away from where Carl is is not where we want to be. I dig this trail, though. It's kind of rutted out. It's kind of dug up. It's like it's definitely one that it looks like the locals come, like, you know, come out here and play around on the weekends for sure so it gets a lot of use but the mud isn't you know so deep that a vehicle like this just gets stuck which is really nice it's kind of a nice in between come on i love how realistically the rocks on the on these trails are not only laid out and you know kind of set around the trail but also how realistic they look they look amazing all right up it goes not bad Come on, easy, whoa, come on, easy, 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 and up it goes. God, this thing rips. It absolutely rips. The only thing is that rear overhang is really, really long, and you can easily catch it on a lot of rocks if you're not careful. Let me ease my way around that other rock real quick. Kind of carrying a little bit more pace than I probably should be, but... Oh, actually, you know what? This was a good idea. This is going to get us a lot closer to Carl's than I thought. Although, we can either cut through the woods, or we can go directly ahead and make our way through this mud pit, and then take the next right, which puts us on the next road to get to Carl's. I think I'm going to go through this mud pit, because I've never been through here before, and I'm really trying to see what this map actually plays like in the release build. And actually, wow, um... Well, this thing made short work of that. This mud pit must not be all that deep, because this thing will sink. If you get it into mud in high, and the mud is actually, like, really, really deep, it will sink, and it'll sink pretty quick. Whoa, we got some proper rocks to deal with here. All right. Just wanted to make sure that my diff lock was on, which it absolutely is, because it's always on. Look at that. Oh, that's so sick. All right, come on. There you go. Dude, that was a perfect line. We didn't even remotely drag the frame on anything at all. Just easing it along this back road. I love how... Oh, my God. That was really, really close to flipping it. That was super close. That was sketch is what that was. I love how the, uh, the tailgate chains also, like, you know, they kind of swing around with the momentum of the vehicle as you go down the road. That's so good. Ooh, easy. Just lumbers through everything. Puts all of its torque to the ground, though. I'll tell you that. All right, easy through here. Because this could cause you a lot of damage if you hit it too fast. There you go, scramble. God, if you like realistic trail simulation... This map is the map to be on, dude. Look at these angles. They are so realistic. They are so freaking realistic, especially if you drive them at a realistic pace like this and the way it looks, like, everything is just gorgeous. Everything. I'm, I'm serious. Like, look at this. We're going to take just a tiny little photo mode break. Look at that. Is that not absolutely beautiful? And just, like... 
the environment around the vehicle is just so dang nice. And it's so realistically laid out. Everything is realistically placed. It literally looks like Dubs went and took photos on real off-road trails and then just, you know, dropped them into the game. Like, literally, I know it's obviously far from that easy, but what I'm saying, I'm saying is that as a compliment because these obstacles and these trail sections look so good that it literally looks like, once again, Dubs went to real off-road trails, took photos, put those into a map editor, and just dropped them into the game. Like, that's how realistic this stuff looks. And I am so, so, so incredibly, like, blown away by it, genuinely. I am a huge fan. And you can just have yourself a cruise through these trails. They're actually perfect for that. Like, if you want a trail system that you can cruise through with your friends, that you don't really have to worry about getting too stuck, but, like, every once in a while, you'll, you know, you'll get an area that might challenge you a little bit, but it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna make you wish you didn't come to the map, that's for sure. Like, that's what the... Oh. I thought this was a road. Uh. Oh, this was... I thought this was a road. Hey, y'all. Uh, sorry I, I drove in through your backyard. Um... You grilling anything? Anything that I can have? I'm a bit hungry. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. So apparently, this is Carl's place. I wonder if Carl has anything I could use to fix my tailgate, because I'm going to need to. All right, Carl. Is that your Voron right there? Seeing old Carl. Now that you... Wait. Talk to Carl. Check for the other task he has going on. Uh. What task? I mean the other tasks on the map because at the moment i'm not sure what other tasks you're talking oh oh wait a minute oh you mean this one right here the one that i didn't look at at all helping old carl oh no what if carl what have you done this time well now you now you met carl let's see Use your help to fix the road across the upper tallis and around the campsite bring over eight loads of bricks to help around the camp uh, soon, soon we can definitely do that, but we also need to get a little bit more of an idea of what's going on around the map, and, and what the rest of the map looks like, because remember, the last time I was out here was when, like, only half to three quarters of the map was done, so there's a lot of it that I've never seen before. And if y'all enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. And if you're new around here and you would like to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. We'll have a lot more of this map here on the channel very, very soon. Hope to see y'all there.